Hello everyone, I'm the Dino Gamer and welcome back to another car crash video. In today's video, we're crashing this pickup into the cinder blocks at the bottom of this very steeply inclined slope. So we're watching the car crash in slow motion and real time from a few different angles, including the external view, the driver's perspective, and the top view. So if you enjoy bits like this, consider leaving a like and subscribing and if you have any ideas. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my very best to do them. Anyway, first up, we have the external view in slow motion. So I'll get to 16 times regular speed and enjoy. So first layer of brick, which destroys the front and glitches out the brick. That this is the third layer, which now the truck is just irrecognizable. The trailer is still intact, but not where the driver would be, that's for sure. The driver would be absolutely crushed. No doubt about it. The back is dented, but it's still recognizable. The engine is totally gone. The tires are bent out of shape. And with the driver, this thing is just flattened like pancake. Now we'll watch what happens in real time. Second, two. There's a bit of lag, sorry about that. That's just real time. Now we'll watch from the driver's perspective in slow motion, so 16 times slower than regular speed. First impact, second, third, and you can barely see the outside, you can see a bit of glitching. The bricks are still airborne, they're still going up. We are actually slightly airborne, though we're totally glitching out. Now we'll watch the same exact thing, but in real time. Yep, can, can barely see anything. Um, everything is irrecognizable. Now we're watching slow motion from the top view. So I'll pause and we'll go to 16 times regular speed. That's first impact, second, third. That's the bonnet there. You saw how the first impact was flung up into the air and it's barely hung on by a thread. I'm guessing if the physics were more realistic, the front would be separated from the back. And so with the bonnet and maybe the windshield as well. And we eventually come to a stop. Now in our last angle of the day, we'll watch the car crash from the top view in real time. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing. And until next time, I'll see you later. So watch as our speed slowly increases. From the top you can get a really good idea of distance. That's the one thing the top view is good for. So we're at the point where our speed is increasing slowly, but getting faster and faster at an increasing rate till we cross 200 kilometers an hour. And still getting faster on the time on the top right, we're about half into the car crash. 230 now. As you go faster, the camera zooms out more and more. 260, 270, 280, 285. And impact. All three impacts slow down our pickup truck tremendously while causing a lot of lag, which is unfortunate. But thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.